Okay, in this presentation we're going to look at Markov chains. And a Markov chain with state space ABC has the following properties. It's irreducible and it is periodic and the probability of moving from A to B equals the probability of moving from A to C. Show that these properties uniquely define the process and sketch a transition diagram for the process. Okay, so as the... As it's periodic and irreducible, then all states are periodic, and hence the probability of staying in any state is zero. So, for example, A, B, and C, here I'm just picking A, it can't transition back to itself. That's not allowed, okay? So they transition out to B, A can transition out to B or C, uh, and B can trans should be able to transition out to B, A, and C, but they can't go. you can't transition from B to B, and so on. Now, by the law of total probability, PAA plus PAB plus PAC is equal to 1. And we already know that that is 0. Okay, so what we're to left with is PAB plus PAC equals 1. And we're just told already that they are equal to each other. And we know that the PAA, the probability of transitioning to A, is 0. So necessarily, PAB and PAC are equal to 0 0.5 bo in both cases. Okay, now let's just sort of process what we have there so far. I, this is just a little diagram I've made earlier. Okay, now what we have to do here is guess what happens with the rest of it. Okay, now the thing is we're told it's periodic and irreducible. Uh, the, mean, the, the fact that it's irreducible means that we have to be able for, to transition from B to A and C to A and so on. OK, so essentially what needs to exist is there needs to exist some way of B to uh, access C and C to access A. OK, now just for the sake of simplicity, what we're going to guess here is we're going to try this out. A very simple structure here. OK, and if you're seeing something that is sort of like try the simplest. Uh, uh, examples first okay uh, just build it up bit by bit and try the most simple and obvious symmetric answer to this question okay so this is what we're going to go with so far the red arrows sort of indicate something we're trying to guess at okay but so far it fulfills our criteria okay it's irreducible that every state can access every other state and so far, it's periodic, okay? So, for example, we can go transition from A to B, back to A. We can transition from B to A, back to B. And C to A, that's a, that's a period of two. That's a period of two. Let's try something else. C to A to B to A to C. That's a period of four, okay? So what we have there actually is irreducible and periodic with period two. That's good going so far. That meets our criteria, actually. But what happens if we put something else in, okay? So what happens if we add in a little bit more, okay? Well, this is going to break down our notion that it's periodic because if we add anything more in here okay so taking uh, looking from the point of view of b but everything i'm about to say applies to c so we can transition from b to a to c back uh, to b okay that's a period of three okay r p to a to b that's a period of two. So in this case, if we had this here, that would uh, remove it as periodic. Okay, it would disqualify it as periodic. Okay. Now, suppose we're working in the opposite way. Just moving over here. Suppose we actually did keep these. And let's just have a like a, a guess at our red lines, okay? Well, let's just say that the red lines shouldn't be there, 
Okay, let's, so let's just sort of pretend they're gone for a second. Let's just, oops. So, B, see, uh, so let's just sort of see how this works first. So we can go from C, oh yeah, we can't. We can't go to A, A is irreducible, okay? So that, that, that means that we need at least one of these red lines. In fact, actually we need, it does need, means we need both of those red arrows, okay? So we're sort of stuck there. That essentially what I'm getting at is that we, we, these are a problem, okay? And we sort of tried to overcomplicate our model and we shouldn't have, because when we added more things in, it just fell apart. It stopped being periodic. It stopped being reducible. And we tried to move stuff. So essentially, basically, we kept it simple. We had this, it was fine, it worked. We were good. We didn't need to mess around with it. So that's a transition probability of one. That's a transition probability of one. That means everything is good. It's irreducible. It's periodic. And it meets our criteria of probability of A transitioning to B and B transitioning to C. Or A transitioning to C are both equal to each other and so on. So that's the sort of uh, my advice with these ones. Sort of just build it up slowly. Keep it simple. Uh, keep it like try and go for the simplest looking solution first off. Uh, like the process of symmetry, you know, when we had the blue arrows, put the corresponding red arrows in, and just see how it works out, and that got us to our answer very quickly. Okay, so we'll leave it there.